Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's um, it's 5-4-22. Knock, knock. Reality here. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, um, I, I just wanted to point out something to everybody out there who believes in a, a globe or a spinning wet bowl or whatever it is you think you live on because it's not true. But anyway, let's just look at something real quick. And, and hopefully you'll be able to follow me on this. I know it gets difficult. It really does for some people. Obviously it is because nobody sees this. And it it's dumbfounding that nobody sees this at all. Absolutely amazes me. Okay, quick question for you. Today we had five to 10 mile per hour winds. That's right, here in New York. Five to 10 mile per hour winds. A light breeze, a beautiful day. When they say partly cloudy, that just look at it as chemtrailing. Okay, that's all you gotta think about because that's what they've been doing here. I've been uh, listening to some of my friends' videos and uh, I heard one of them, they, they were just killing them over there. It was just one line after another line after another line. <laughs> checkers, chess, whatever you want to look at it as, but they're spraying up there. Five to ten mile per hour winds today. Now, it's funny, because I was told that I'm living on a spinning wet ball that's spinning at a thousand miles per hour. You see, now, the, the, the funny thing about it is that there isn't, wind wouldn't be possible on a on on a a spinning wet ball, it, I, it just wouldn't be possible. It would have to be going one thousand ten miles per hour. <laughs> Do you know how fast a thousand miles per hour is? I think the fastest car we have out there. It's got a freaking rocket on it, and it only does like seven hundred miles per hour on the. Uh, on the Salt Basin out there in Nevada. I mean, it's just such a joke. Uh, you know, I mean, just one after another after another. There's a million proofs, you know. So everybody's complaining that they live on a, a spinning wet ball and, and, and they come to my channel and they leave stupid fucking comments that mean nothing. They're just garbage. Um, well, I have something for you. David Weiss. Yeah, that's right. David Weiss. You know him? He owns a channel. <laughs> he also owns a uh, an app too. Okay. Um, he has three bitcoins, which now I think is worth over two hundred thousand dollars, to prove to him that we live on a spinning wet ball. That bet's now been going on for several months, and nobody's come out, and nobody's questioned it, and nobody is giving me. And me any proofs or him any proofs or any of us in the flat earth truth that we live on a spinning wet ball. None of them. And none of them ever will. That's why that bet has been placed out there. It's like, oh, well, the bet for proving to us that we live on, on a planet. It's bullshit. Is a million dollars. Whatever. That's fucking great. But you should be able to prove to us, since we're so stupid, that we live on a spinning wet ball. It should be simple for you to collect $200,000. Everybody raise your hand who would like to have $200,000, okay? I'm sure all of you guys, because you all create these fake subs and make your channels look so fucking big, and when they're, meanwhile, you go to one of their chats and there's like a hundred people in them. Oh, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, guys. Come on, man. I mean, it's all bullshit. I haven't purchased anything at all. I've done absolutely nothing with my channel. It's just grown naturally, and now it's been stunted, just like all flat earthers and their channels have been. They won't let us get any more subs, and if they do, they'll give you two a day if you're lucky. You know, the only way flat earthers will get more subs is if other flat earthers take their videos and they start publishing them on their channel that are bigger. That's the only way you're going to get any subs. That's it. We've been suppressed. 
okay? I got some bad news for you. So if you're just getting into Flat Earth right now and you're expecting to get a lot of subs, it, it's not going to work. I'm sorry. Well, unless if there's a, a thing that you prove, though. Um, but uh, anyway, it, it doesn't make a difference. You know, I'm just giving you what a Flat Earth channel. That was what my channel was all about. To show you what a flat earth, a real Flat Earth channel, how the subs grow. They don't. <laughs> when your YouTube doesn't like you anymore, they don't let you grow at all, in the least bit. What the fuck am I talking about this for? Anyway, that was what I wanted to say. Um, so, anyway, so that's how the how fast the wind should be traveling. And that holds true for everything that goes airborne up there. There is a thousand miles per hour up there of revolution, of revolving, spinning. But yet not a single airport, I mean, not a single airline uh, pilot has, has, sharpshooters don't talk about it. You know, the guys who walk around with those tripods that are got whatever the fuck they're doing, they, they don't put account to it. People building bridges, architects, architectural engineers don't put any account to it. None of them do, because it doesn't exist. You're living on a flat stationary plane here. That's it. That's why you can see lake water like a mirror on, on a nice calm day with the reflection of the mountains in the background or you looking down at it. <laughs> I mean, really. I thank you for subbing. I thank you for viewing my videos. Let me be a part of your life.